Hey guys, welcome back to a product demo. This time we're taking a look at Broadway Limited's Paragon 3 USRA Light Pacific Baltimore and Ohio locomotive. That is a mouthful. MSRP $349.99. More likely to find prices out there at brick and mortar hobby shops and online retailers in the mid 200s. This is a product demo. I am doing an experiment on my channel where we spend a little less time doing reviews and do demos. This means quicker videos for you but most of the information that we normally get. Here's the manual. Get the exploded parts diagram. That's pretty much every model and limited one year warranty from Broadway Limited. Locomotive itself is inside here. We're gonna take a look at the accessory bag which comes with traction tires and a tool to remove drivers to install traction tires. You've got the locomotive tender, very, very small, short coal tender here. And we've got the locomotive itself, which has this bracing inside. A little hard to picture, but it, there's a bracing that I just kind of slide the locomotive out from. And there's you got the locomotive. Let's get these unwrapped and take a look at them. All right, here we go with this Light Pacific Baltimore and Ohio locomotive. LED headlight, smoke box door with the actual hinges or details all the way around, non-operating op or classification lights, bell that is uh, fixed, coupler pilot with the air hoses, coupler cut lever, smokestack, non-operational uh, smoke unit, or there is no smoke unit in this, does not operate smoke, builder's plate, you've got detail along including a boiler and sand domes, the whistle, dynamo, plumbing going all the way down to the firebox and firebox rivets. You've got the side rods, eccentric crank, you've got the three drive wheels there, trailing trucks there, deck plate with with safety tread or you know with that stamped steel appearance. You do have a root cab roof fence that open, both of them operate, slide. You've got rivet detail along the top, cab figures are installed on both sides. You do have Boiler back head detail, you can see a peak out there. And handrails along the side of the locomotive there. More plumbing on this side. Taking a closer look at the tender now. Ooh, a little out of focus there. Coal, water hatches, crew access ladder. Female connection, draw bar with two different settings for close and more spacious setting for tighter curves. You've got the trucks and another coupler on the rear with a coupler on the rear with a coupler cut lever, gallon specification for uh, tender capacity. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but the water hatch and water hatch hinge detail is molded in the top there. That's it for the tender. Let's take a closer look at the loco. Start up is F9. That's the full extended startup. You even hear the crew approaching the locomotive to start things up on it. We're gonna go ahead and listen to just a couple of sounds. Bell, whistle, and alternative whistle. F1 is bell. Whistle, F2. Alternative whistle, F22, and then back to two. Okay, we listen to a few sounds, including the startup. Let's actually move this, it checks slow speed control. Listen to chuff. Paragon 3 is on, so you should, if you have a subwoofer here, the supplement that the subwoofer creates. Paragon 3 locomotive is pretty sweet. 
There's one speed step, a little bit of lurching, not much. Two speed steps at a 126. Start hearing the chuff rates. Four chuffs per revolution, which is correct. Three speed steps. Four. And five. Chuff reverse. One speed step. Very little to no lurch. Two speed steps. Three. Four. And five. Moves right along. That's basically it for our product demo. We don't do some of the other tests in the essence of time. If you have any questions, let me know. I'd be glad to help. I'm going to leave you with a run by of this locomotive, the USRA Light Pacific in Baltimore and Ohio scheme by itself, since I don't have any era specific rolling stock to pull it with. But we'll see you next time right here on my channel. Thanks for watching and take care.